There is no such thing as heaven and hell. By heaven, we mean the peace a person finds when he dies. After a lifetime of suffering, how is it possible for man's decaying body to be brought back to life and given a soul? How can intelligent men accept this? If there is anyone here who can give me a good reason to reconsider my irrefutable logic, I am prepared to discuss this. But be certain that no one is capable of refuting intelligent thought. I swear to my God and to your God that there is no afterlife and no one is brought back after death. Yes, oh, is and after death, no one will be reborn. That's strange. Oh, you're certain of something you've never seen. And swear to it. Let it be. That's right. That's right. What are you saying? Can you swear that there are no mermaids in any of the world's seas? I can swear that no one has ever seen such a thing. Mermaids are definitely imaginary creatures. Answer the question. Can you swear that mermaids do not exist? No. I have not seen all of the seas of the world. But no one has been able to prove that they do indeed exist. Have you returned from another world? <laughs> no. I don't even believe in another world. So you have not returned from another world? Have you interacted with someone who has witnessed another world? No, I don't believe such a person exists. I don't <laughs> think that anyone has ever seen any such person. You swore so confidently I thought you yourself had experienced death and have seen that there is nothing after it. Or that you've heard it from someone who has died and been reborn. <laughs> <laughs> I am certain that a dead body which is decomposed will never be brought to life again. Is that not enough? You should say that we have not seen the dead come to life again. But several prophets have brought the dead back to life, and many people have witnessed How this. How can I believe something that I have not seen? You believe that God must bring the dead back to life for each and every person? So that they'll believe in the afterlife? <laughs> that's right. Yes, that's One right. One miracle is enough for all generations if they choose to believe. And if not, they will never believe. Even if they see a miracle with their own eyes, just as many people claim that Jesus used sorcery to resurrect the dead. I am not foolish enough to believe something that I have not seen. Then do not believe in your own wisdom. Is it too cannot be seen? <laughs> <can't be> <laughs> <laughs> Father Ferus answered him well. Before he knew it, he was second guessing if his own beliefs. This way, ah, that atheism was will long. prevail. <sighs> what are you doing here? Let's go. Let's go. He is preaching sacrilegious thoughts. Come see for yourself. Come. He is standing there. He's right there. Move back. Stand back. Hey, you. Let's go. Where are you taking me? Why are you Move, arresting me? Let it go. Why am I go. being arrested? Go. Let me go. Where are you taking me? Let him talk! Remain silent. Ridiculous speaking. Oh, you dangerous his life. Of course, he's brought him on. He should have known that his life. Yo. I can't move. believe he did that. Let's move it. I can't see his family going to do it. How can a fair judge like you let them violate my rights and that of my wife and children? All right. I will fight to claim every last ounce of your rights from him. May God grant you good health. I will summon him to court tomorrow. Judge, do not worry. Judge, Thank you. 
What's happened? This man was promoting idol worshipping. <clears throat> For that, he must be punished in public. Let the people in as well. Go, go! Come on, move! What's happened? Does this mean that idol worshippers cannot promote their beliefs in the city? Have I gone mad? I don't know. If I'm asleep or awake, I should leave this place before I completely lose my mind. Excuse me, sir, what is a church? Is it the same as a Jewish synagogue? <laughs> no, my brother, this is a church. It's a place for Christian worship. Uh, uh. Christian? Christians have their own place of worship. What do you want, brother? Excuse me. What is this? How do you not know? Are you an idol worshipper? No, no, no. I'm only, 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 only asking. This is a crucifix. A sculpture of Christ nailed to the Holy Cross. Hmm. Holy Cross? Yes. A sculpture of Christ? Yes. It seems you've never seen a crucifix. No, no, I've never seen one. Thank you. I thank you for your kindness. God be with you. He looks so familiar. I 
don't know whether all these people are mistaken or I am. Excuse me, sir. Where can I find some bread? Oh, then let's go that way. Thank you. Take this piece until we reach home. What can I get you? I want some bread. Aren't you? The same person who asked me which city this is earlier today. Yes, yes. Take as much bread as you like. Stranger, hmm? how many, how many of these coins have you found? What did you say? He asked, how many of these coins you have found? I don't understand what you mean. Look, stranger, we don't know what town you're from. But don't try to deceive us. What for? I don't know what you're talking about. When and where did you find this treasure? Look here, sir. I don't know what you mean by treasure. But if you like, you can keep that coin for yourself. I don't need the rest. Where are you going? Wait! Where are you going? You don't think you can run away? Move back. You see, stranger, it's in your best interest to cooperate with us. Don't be so greedy. If the guards find out, you'll lose the treasure and be fined. You'll have nothing left. So, you'd better be smart. If you share one third of it with us, we'll show you. How to spend it. Share it what us. are these ridiculous things you're saying? Have you lost your minds? <laughs> Where are you going? Wait. Seems you're pretty greedy. We won't let you keep that treasure all to yourself. What are you saying? We won't saying? let you go. Get going. Uh, wait here. I won't let you get away. Hey, I everyone! Go. This man's found a treasure! He's right! He's trying to get away! Nice. He doesn't want to pay taxes! He's found a treasure! That's not true! He has to tell us where it is! Don't let him That's escape! Exactly right! We've He's found him. treasure! Over here! Look over He's here! He's found treasure! Got him! Look where! Come on! That's exactly right! Trying to get Move this back. man! Move back! What's happened? He's found treasure! And he's trying to escape! Is he telling the truth? Oh. Let's go! Come on! Wait. Move back. 
Stand back. Move back. We found him. We were the ones that caught him. So now we want our right. reward. Hmm. We can go. Yes, Your Highness. Your Highness, there is someone here who seems to have found treasure. He has an ancient coin on him. Your Highness, take a look at this, please. Leave it for tomorrow. I am tired today. It's a strange coin, Judge Stevens. See? I am tired, but never mind. Bring him in. Bring him here. So, tell me where you got this coin. It's mine. I didn't find it anywhere. Hmm. You don't seem like the type to jest. This coin is not from our time. Present day coins don't look like this at all. What are you doing with this ancient coin? I have nothing to say other than that this coin is mine and I did not find it anywhere. Listen here, sir. I'm tired and I don't have the energy to argue with you. So before I do something rash, tell me where you got this coin yourself. I have already answered you. I will not be giving a different one, even if you ask me a thousand more times. We will see. Although I am sure the whip will make you speak. I will wait until I have more detailed information. This coin is very old. I think Barnabas, the Odysseus's advisor, may be able to tell us which period it belongs to. Go to the governor's palace and invite Barnabas here on my behalf. Yes, sir. Hadrian, from the Nervan Antonian dynasty, 300 years ago. 300 years? Hmm. My friend Barnabas is a historian. He says that this coin is 300 years old. Now you tell us where you got it from. I, uh, Your Highness, I, if you will allow me, I would like to ask you a question. I posed a question first. I don't know anything. Whatever I say will be useless. Nothing, absolutely nothing is in its right place. It seems the world has been turned upside down. Your Highness. Uh, are you a Christian? Why are you asking? Yes, of course I am. 
In fact, I was baptized at a very young age, even before the Emperor was baptized. The Emperor? You mean that Emperor Hadrian and Diocletian have converted as well? What's that? What are you talking about? Hadrian has been dead for years. Who are you referring to when you say Diocletian? What city are you from, sir? Where did you get this coin belonging to the Hadrian period? I believe I'm from Philadelphia. But maybe not this Philadelphia. I swear to God, I am desperate. I can't fathom what's going on. Yesterday, Hadrian was in Philadelphia. Today, he has been dead for years. Yesterday, everyone practiced idol worship. Today, all worship God. Yesterday, the Janus Temple and the sculpture of Jupiter stood at the entrance. Today, they're gone. Yesterday, there were temples everywhere. Today, there are churches. Oh, merciful God, I am your desperate servant. What's going on? Enlighten me. Let me see. Do you know what year we are living in? Of course I know. I mean, I think I know. Yesterday, when we left the city, it was the year 890. But maybe, maybe it was not yesterday. From what I can tell, nothing is certain. Only God knows everything. 890? Hmm. The year 890 of what calendar? 890 years since the establishment of Rome. The birth of Christ was 753. 890. 37, 137 years after Christ, the year 137, the final year of Hadrian's reign. Judge, in truth, when Hadrian died, a person named Diocletian was governing the city of Philadelphia. It is perplexing. Uh. You see, sir, I still don't quite understand what you mean. But I must inform you that it is now 437 years after Christ. And you are saying that it is 137 years after Christ? It appears you are mistaken about uh. the date. By exactly 300 years. 300 years? Do you understand why we don't believe what you're saying? Are we justified in thinking you are fabricating stories and telling these lies to protect the treasure you've found? It would be best if you told the truth. Because we will not let you go. I... I don't know what the truth is. Because I am lost and confused myself. Take him and lash him several times until he remembers the truth. I believe there is some truth to be found in this man. I truly wish to discover that truth. Hadrian. Hadrian.
What is this? I have never seen this before. Look! It is strange. First these stones, and now this tablet. The inscription cannot clearly be read. It is old and broken. It must be very old. Perhaps Maximilian knows what it is. I knew about this cave before Maximilian. But I have never seen this before today. Hadrian escaped to Maximi... Mika. Whatever. This is... It is about us. It is the beginning of Maximilian's name and the end of Telmika's name. Only Telmika's name is legible. So who could have mounted this here? How old could it be it's so worn out? Regardless, it is a cause for concern. I hope that nothing happens to Maximilian. We have to see whether he has decided to talk or not. Oh. Oh. So, have you remembered anything? I told you nothing but the truth. I will tell you again. My friends and I left here yesterday. Or perhaps two days ago. Last night. Last night, when Emperor Hadrian was here, dear God, what have you done with us? Why did you leave the city with your friends? Because they wanted to kill us. Because we were Christians and refused to bow down before the Emperor. They gave us an opportunity to repent last night. But we escaped from Philadelphia to a cave. And today I came back with the only coin I had to find food for my friends. I am Maximilian, advisor to Diocletian. Who are you? What is this place? Oh. No. You said Maximilian. <sighs> Judge, my friend, perhaps this man is telling the truth. <sighs> this may be the man who was martyred in the cave of Angelos. No one has had the courage to get close to their corpses. <sighs> During the time of the Emperor Hadrian and the government of Diocletian, six of the palace's advisors took refuge in a cave along with a shepherd. They were trapped there until they died. The martyrs of the Cave of Angelos? Yes. The ones with the terrifying corpses? Yes. I have read this story on a tablet in the archive of the government documents. I don't remember all of their names, but I am certain that the name of one of those men was Maximilian. One of the others was called Telmica and... And Ivanis and Sodinanus, Denasius and Martinus and Antonius the shepherd. God, have mercy upon me. I don't understand. You mean you came from the cave today? Yes. The cave of Mount Angelos? Yes, yes, yes. What were you doing all this time in that cave? We were sleeping. We didn't have a chance to sleep last night because we were being tortured and chased. We slept when we arrived at the cave this morning. 
It's only been a few hours since we awoke. This man is ridiculing us. Stop making up fiction. We don't have time for this. M Tell me when you got M this coin. M me? I'm not making all this up. What I see appears to be an illusion. I'm hearing unbelievable things. Everybody knew me in this city. My estate was renowned in this city. But I don't know what's happened. You expect us to believe what you're saying? Would you believe these things if you were in our position? What? You're right. I myself don't know what I'm supposed to believe. That's enough! You are trying to hide the location of the treasure you found in order to avoid taxes. But you can be certain that we will make you confess. No. But... Take him and whip him some more until he tells you where the treasure is. Does he really deserve to be whipped? I cannot understand a single thing he says. I don't know why, but I believe what he was saying. understand what he is saying. Judge, I understand your point of view, but I would like to hear the story in full. Perhaps my being a historian is the reason for my curiosity. What do you think? Hmm. Hmm. Stop. Uncuff him. You said your home is renowned in the city. Can you show it to us? If... if my home's not been affected by the changes I've witnessed throughout the city, then yes. This is your guard. You can take him wherever you like. If you have no objection, I would like you to stay with us. I feel as if the issue is more complicated than it seems. All right. I am at your service. Prepare the carriage and two guards. must certainly have changed if 300 years have passed. Isn't that so, Judge? Yes, yes. Does this look familiar? Mm. 
You don't recognize this place? No, no. None of this is familiar. No. No, I don't recognize it. And this place? No, I don't recognize it. Wait. Wait. begin from the city gate. I am certain, I am certain that I can find my way home from there. Wouldn't it be best if we quit playing this game, Barnabas? Be patient. Let us watch and see what happens. I have a good feeling about this. All right. I cannot deny the wishes of Barnabas, Theodosius's personal advisor. Thank you. So, get on and let's go. Let's go. Marius is awaiting your arrival. Please. Marius is in the library. I will let him know you are here. Arius, Father Firus is here. May God bless the elderly Arius. Greetings, Father Firus. Please sit down. I've heard that you would like to take me to Mount Angelus with you again. I must see the inside of that cave. What for? No one is brave enough to get close to that cave. Why should I lie to you? I myself once tried to see the inside of that cave. But from a distance of 100 meters, I was so overtaken with fear that I regretted it. No, I understand. But if it is God's will, I will succeed. I must see it. How is it possible that the bodies of seven men and their dog haven't decomposed after 300 years? This is a true sign of the afterlife. I have thoughts that this will be confirmed if I see the inside of the cave. It is entirely up to you. But I feel I must tell you that any thoughts you have will be completely erased upon seeing what is inside. But Arius, is there anyone you know who looks like the man in this portrait? Meaning your great ancestor? No. There is nobody I know who looks like this man. It's strange. I saw somebody today who looked very similar to this portrait. Stop. Even with all the changes, I still recognize it. I recognize this old house. It is Arius's house.
Yes. Yes, it is here. This is a hatch to a secret passageway. Nothing could be seen here. It isn't meant to be seen. This is the secret hatch we used to escape. The other hatch is next to the city wall. So you have no choice. You must accept the truth. Hmm. Should I knock? Help me. Helen? Who are you? 